Welcome back to Bloodline. I'm Nicholas, and I have a very interesting young lady here, if I may say so myself. We're looking at Sniper Wolf. Or SS Sniper Wolf, whatever you guys call her. <laughs> uh, I've seen only but a handful of her videos. I really don't know what she's about. Uh, I just see her constantly reacting to TikTok. Seems like that's all she really does is react to TikTok compilations, and she has made that work for her tremendously. Uh, hats off to her. I think all reactors uh, desire to reach that point. Um, I'm, I'm sure she doesn't just do reactions. I feel like somewhere she might be a gamer. But, um, yeah, today we're going to be reacting to her, trying TikTok hacks that actually work. So without... Uh, holding y'all up any longer. Sniper Wolf is going to show us TikTok hacks that actually work. Let's go. Hello, friends. This is me. Today, I'm Hello. going to do TikTok life hacks to see if they actually work so you don't have to. Did you know? Well, go ahead. Inside then. of a pregnancy test, there is an emergency plan B. There is no way. I don't believe it for one second. You're telling me that there is a $50 pill inside a $10 pregnancy test. Huh? Okay, so we already getting off to an interesting start. <laughs> the TikTok has been uh, changing lives the past five years, man. Like, you can learn about anything. You can learn anything on TikTok. I don't know how I feel about that. But that, I almost feel that shouldn't have been shown. Like, there's a group of guys that's like, yes. And there's a group of sisters that's like, yes. And then there's a group of guys that's like, wow. And then there's another group of girls that's like, whoa. I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Pregnancy test, which I bought for this hat. Oh, she's going to do it. Know, what? I'm going to break this open. Can I do it with my hands? Oh, I guess this is not necessary. Funny story. So I ordered the groceries to my house. It went to my neighbor's house. The crazy Karen neighbor. And then he saw that I ordered pregnancy tests. And then he wrote me an email saying to stop. What Karen thing. living in a house like that? And said he recorded a video and threatened to post it online. And said it would be embarrassing for me. Fun guy, right? <gasps> oh, there's actually something in here. I have some weapon in here. What is that? There is a pill inside of this. I don't think this is plan B. There's no way. Yeah, that looked like a Tums. That looked like a Tums. What the shit does that even look like? It's like very chalky. Maybe it's for the test. It's definitely not plan B. Like, there is no way they would put a $40, $50 pill besides, like, a $5 pregnancy test. Right, I don't know how. Your pregnancy test, and you're already pregnant. I think it's too late. <laughs> okay, so I looked it up. It's not a pill. It's just a small tablet that's meant to absorb moisture. You're right. That's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah, because that looked like I was like either either she flipping it and putting the Tums in there because her test didn't get a plan B or it's some type of tablet for moisture or something I, to help with. The I, I don't know, but I knew that couldn't have been no damn plan B. clothing hat like she's making a really cute shirt but no Keep you can put your baby in it supports the weight of a small child i've seen people wearing these with a whole entire child in it now i know how no i don't have a human child but i'd like to test this on my baby unfortunately you can't use a regular scarf for this it is way too short you need something like 20 feet long to do this hat that's on top of it y'all see how long this is wow that house is really white Man, get that dog out of there. <laughs> Why you just threw the dog in there? Definitely fits perfectly in here. I also got another one. We got another dog that wants to come in here. Why y'all got... Oh, but they both 
thick. <laughs> These are perfectly. This is a no break zone. There is only love in each other. Now over my baby, I can go up and down the stairs. I can go for a little jog. And they're surprisingly very calm in this. Like, this is the only face I can make. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're done. You're done. It's an interesting little woman. Whoa. That was extremely satisfying. You gotta have the softest avocado for this one. Yeah, you, you do. Know, you know what? Annihilated the avocado into the bowl. If this works, I'm making guacamole. So the hardest part is basically you gotta peel your avocado for this one. Yeah, you do. And oh, peeling yeah. avocados is very strange. You better eat that. Be complaining. We got some mold in it. Y'all thought it was gonna look good, right? But hey, mold. Really mold in it. But at least we know that these are extra ripe. I feel like I can never get a perfect avocado from the store. These are too hard or moldy. There's no in between. So I just put it in the. It ain't moldy. We're just gonna slam this bag. That ain't gonna work the way she wants. Exactly. What the heck? Exactly. Ah! Exactly. Egg. Exactly. I feel like some of them demonstrations on TikTok be staged. That thing came out looking diced and stuff. Now, what I do remember from that clip that she played is that the avocado was definitely more green. She's got really ripe avocados, more mushy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's weird, bro. This TikTok is. is... You couldn't have done it. I don't know. Huh? Catch twenty two. If you stuff. have the perfect avocado, this might work. I mean, this one was very soft. It's a very cool trick. That's you what. That's what I was like saying. Yeah. The avocado into guacamole. Like, look at that. That's pretty good. I'm already halfway there. Luckily, I got another avocado. Man, get the damn spoon okay. and scoop it out like you know you're supposed to. <laughs> that ain't gonna do it. That that ain't gonna do it. No. Move on. <laughs> Move. Why not just cut avocado like a normal person? Yes. 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 You might want to. I really wanted this one because I really wanted to have guacamole. But now it's no guacamole. I'm assuming this one. They put Sorry. milk in a bowl. Put some food coloring in it. Some red. Some blue. No. 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 What do you do? Oh, animal bam. The colors go crazy. Well, it actually works. But why are you doing that to the milk? That's good milk. Somebody could drink that. Or cook it with it. Was, but icy white liquid. I assume it's milk. I'm gonna take my food coloring. They have liquid coloring. <laughs> you see white liquid, you assume it's milk. Couldn't be melted ice cream. I don't know what. Uh, Dark pink and yellow. That was like green. All right, Q-tip and some dish soap. Oh no! Oh no! It went in before I could touch it. Ha uh ha! -huh. I'm touching it. I thought it was gonna do a reaction like right away. Okay, it made a funny scoop. I don't like it. I'm gonna try this again because one drop of dish soap accidentally went in before I was ready. You Jeez, wasting all that. That's good milk. Why is it moving? Do you see what this is doing? Disrespectful. Are you seeing this? It's literally having a reaction without me even doing anything. It just keeps going. Why? the bowl that was the spot where the dish soap was so it kind of just activated on its own and it just keeps going yeah you probably should have tried a different bowl if i can hydro dip something out of this hydro dip a paper towel Ooh. oh whoa that is impressive yeah that is nice a whole tissue with this who is gonna clean all this up i mixed it it's ruined it's not as cool this time mm, good scoop no how to charge your phone in the wild in my time, I've done a lot of phone charging hacks. And let me tell you, I have not been very successful. But this one actually looks quite promising. Aluminum so is a hack. Wrap it over a car charger. Make it touch the battery. And well, bam, battery equals power. So I don't see why this wouldn't work. I usually don't trust these charging hacks anymore. But this one, I have very high hopes for. Okay, so I'm going to say just off, just off of what I've seen, 
the shit factor <laughs> is who the hell has a nine volt battery just lying around in the wild? What if you just driving down the street and your phone is low? You need to take pictures or something. Who has a nine volt battery? Because it's not this hack ain't just for people that's in the wild. It's for people that need to charge they damn phones when the cigarette lighter don't work in the car no more. And you got a low battery. You need aluminum foil, an old school car charger that you actually plug in the thing because most cars nowadays have USB, most, most present day cars. Like if you get anything from like 2012, definitely 2014 car, you got USB you, you got USB ports. Technically now the outdated USB ports because now everybody's using USB C. Especially if you have an iPhone. So you need an old school car charger that has an adapter for the USB C foil and a damn nine volt battery. Who got them three things lying around? In the, in the damn car somewhere. That's what you got to have. Then get some aluminum foil because, you know, they got that in the wild. And we're going to wrap it up. With you in the wild. Oh, maybe you don't. Well, this smells like a little apple. We want these two nips to go in the hole. This one in here. And it's made from that. Should look something like this. And we're going to plug in our USB so that way you can see it. Did the charger light up? <gasps> it did. It did. It's working. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is actually working. I did it right. I think you have to hold it like this the whole time, though. You can't just, like, put it down. Exactly. Like, Very cool hack. <laughs> How did I not know this was a thing? How to not make your drink overflow with bubbles. I like it when it almost overflows, but not quite. Just put all the bubbles in the can. Just pour it out upside down. What? I feel like this takes the fun out of it. I like to play little games. Pour as much soda as I can without it. Uh, I don't see this I working. Very small cup, so I don't see it working. For this one. I don't yeah. see it. I don't see it. Somebody took this. She gonna screw this up. I feel. Pour it upside down. How it's like not coming out if I don't like lift it up? Huh? Well, that worked. Also got a nice surprise. A plastic ring. And if bitch could have choked on that. Do better, Toad. Let me see if this will work with a smaller cup. Right, I was about to say that 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 jar was too Will high. It overflow is the question. Okay, if I leave it like this, it's not gonna overflow. But as soon as I lift it, it will overflow. Ready for this? Oh, there's like a a delay. Oh, stupid. <laughs> we don't have ginger ale. Yeah, you do Sprite with a splash of Coke. Ginger ale is just Sprite with a splash of Coke. No. It tastes like it. No, it's not. To slam down the cup. It must be true. This is what the squid game guards do on their day. It ain't ginger ale. Don't tell me that. Look, don't don't tell me that ginger ale is just Coke and Sprite mixed together. Though it would explain some things. However, I've recently been turned on to ginger ginger beer. Uh shout out to Cracker Barrel in Park City. <laughs> So and and it is not ginger ale. Real ginger beer is not ginger ale. So if this is what it is, I'm a little disappointed because people be drinking that when they sick. Ginger ale tastes like. So we're gonna open up some Sprite, mm, room temperature. Pour it and use our Coke bottle from our last pack. Just just a dash. Look at that. It's like the same color. Surely it will taste the same, right? Damn. I don't know if it's official. I, I don't know if it's official. I don't, I don't know if it's legit, but hey, ginger beer is the thing for me. So, anyways, yeah, Sniper Wolf, she I, right. 
she 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 all right with me. I don't know if I'll be reacting to her a lot, but I'll see what you guys have to say. And until next time, all I got to all I got to leave you with is um have a good day. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and comment and sub what you want to see on this channel, man. And I will see y'all next time, man. Have a good day.